plenty of issues to get through with Nationals MP and former Resources Minister Keith Pitt, who joins me from Bundaberg. Keith, the usual suspects have turned up at Labor's national conference in Brisbane. Extinction Rebellion protesters want a ban on coal and gas mining and they want it now. Oh, well, they're not alone. Uh, the Queensland Premier has come out and said that she's no longer Palaszczuk, she's Palachop, wants to get rid of coal out of Queensland. <laughs> Just happens to be Australia's single biggest commodity export worth about $130 billion. So I think the Premier and the Queensland Labor Party, well, they need to tell the people that live in Mackay and Emerald and Gladstone and everywhere else that relies on coal that they want them to be out of a job. Uh, we are exactly the opposite. I, in fact, Rita, I went and had a look at the LNP state conference motions to see what was in there, and guess what? They're supporting coal and they're supporting nuclear and they're supporting Australian industries and Australian jobs. Well, Labor can't even get behind nuclear. In fact, the left faction don't even want to have nuclear submarines. The, uh, tell me about this conflict of AUKUS. Surely they're going to fall into line and not cause the government too many problems in this area. Well, I think the socialists and the communists are in charge uh, of the Labor conference. Uh, and it's a free country, right? They're entitled to their view. But this is such a critical security agreement. No one else has access to this. Uh, it's the US and the, and the British and now us. Uh, it is probably one of Australia's most important security arrangements. Uh, and yet we have things like you know, the people of Kimber. They've just lost a low-level nuclear waste, a radioactive waste facility that they'd fought for for nearly eight years now off, off the back of a judge's decision and the Bangala people uh, who have no native title on that land. Uh, and we see Labor's members out there saying that they should get out of uh, the AUKUS arrangement, not use nuclear. Well, once again, I looked at the LNP State Conference and guess what their motions were? They want better education in the curriculum around the facts on nuclear and baseload nuclear power. Well, we need nuclear power. There's, there's no doubt. If we're going to seriously reduce emissions and, and close down these coal-fired power stations, without nuclear, we are not going to make it. We're not going to be able to rely on wind and solar. We need baseload power. It's a no-brainer. It's not even a question. I cannot believe how we are ignoring the experience overseas and, and reinventing the wheel in this country. But let's move on to housing. The PM and state leaders have agreed to fast-track the construction of 1.2 million homes. The housing crisis is only going to get worse, Keith, because we've got an influx of migrants coming over the next five years, 1.5 million. They need to live somewhere. Uh, will the government achieve this target of 1.2 million new homes? Well, what a commitment, Rita. Uh, we average a build of about 200,000 a year now, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. <laughs> so it's just slightly over what we build anyway. Yeah. So there's only two solutions here. You need less people, which isn't going to happen, or you need more houses. Uh, and you need private investors to do it. Government can't build them all. Uh, I mean, the most recent commitment, $15,000 towards some extra houses for social housing, and yet state governments are putting up the cost by a reported $40,000 per home for disability access and other environmental considerations. They keep scaring away mum and dad investors uh, for mm. whom you know, this was their second biggest investment uh, and they keep telling them that they're terrible people, they've got rivers of gold which don't exist and that renters have more rights than the people who own the house. And no wonder people are getting out and they are getting out by the swag. Well, and it's in the end going to be terrible news for renters as it is currently because the landlords, the mum and dad investors are leaving the market. It is just too difficult with the costs, the land tax, the ongoing costs uh, and the uh, trend Interest to give rates. the renters all the rights and strip the owners of their rights. So it is a self-inflicted wound, this one, and it seems like it's not going to improve any time soon. Keith Pitt, thank you so much for your time this evening.